back everyone. Today we're going to be testing out the Liberty US M4 9mm round. It is 50 grains and uh, before I go any further I guess I should mention that this is formerly known as Liberty Halo Point. But there were some copyright issues with that name so I had to go ahead and change the name and now they are using the long tab logo as you see here and a portion of sales go to a charity that benefits uh, special forces soldiers um, just to point that out. So um, getting into the round itself as you can see here it is a very deep cavity hollow point. It appears to be copper bullet with uh, nickel plating on the outside of the copper jacket and uh, it is 9mm 50 grain as I mentioned. You can see there on the end of the uh, round there there is no plus P marking although the advertised velocity of this round is 2,000 feet per second. So that's really what kind of draws folks into this round. I think you know the uh, velocity close to some rifle ranges out of a handgun would be a good thing. So that's what we're going to test out today and see how it does. The gun that we're going to be using in today's test is the M&P full size. This is the VTAC model. So that's what the rounds are going to be going out of. We'll get into the chronograph next and then see how the rounds do in that gel block. There you see as soon as the bullet entered had pretty massive expansion and fragmentation between the one and a half to two inch mark. Moving on down, just to give you a sense of where we're at. Fall it down, it seems to have settled down. The back end of that bullet there is stopped right at 12 inches. Here's the overhead view. You can really get a shot of just how much that fragmented and expanded there between say like the one and five inch mark. And it did settle down right there, that last piece, right at 12 inches. Between the 1 and 4 inch mark, we had a pretty devastating wound profile. But beyond that, all these fragments broke away. And this piece right here was the only piece that was continuing on. That piece, the base of the bullet, is about 30 grains. And as you saw there, it didn't quite reach 12 inches of penetration. So a lot of folks out there who uh, know what they're talking about will tell you that good penetration to reach the vitals of a bullet is important for stopping uh, the threat. I kind of agree with that. And... This round may or may not get that, as you can see here with that 30 gram projectile, would that penetrate um, after hitting a rib bone? I don't know. I don't have that type of equipment to test it, but something to consider there. One pro of the round is that it's extremely light recoil, um, really, really light recoil, especially out of a strike and fire gun with a low, low uh, bore axis like the M&P there. But that's what we found. That's the test. If you guys have any questions about this test or anything else I test here on the channel, you can feel free to post below in the comments section. And uh, hope to see you in the next video.